Hello biology students. In this video, we're gonna be performing our isopod behavior lab, also called the roly-poly lab. Um, so what this is all about, um, pretty much this gives us a chance to start looking a little bit at like animal behavior and things like that. Um, and it's also a really good experiment for us to practice with experimental design and using the scientific method. Um, so, uh, the way this is going to work, as you can see here, that we have our bio choice chambers set up. Um, so what we have is in the middle here, there is just a central chamber. It's pretty much empty. We've got 10 roly polies. I'm going to use proper term, isopods. We have 10 isopods placed in the center, right? Right now, they are closed off from the two chambers. That's what these little blue things are. Um, but a minute here, we're gonna open these up and let them be able to make some choices. Uh, so we have two environments set up. Uh, using just some paper towel, we cut out a circle in each one. Uh, but here, as you can see on the side labeled wet, uh, I just took this, this spray bottle filled with water and uh, dampened the paper towel. Um, and what we're going to actually be studying in this is the choice that these isopods make. Do they prefer dry environment or they prefer wet environment? Um, now, you guys are going to have to collect data from this video. So you're going to want to take, uh, and take a piece of paper and set up a data table similar to the one that is on the back of our isopod lab here. So we have this data table here, time going down every 30 seconds, number in the wet side, number in the dry side, any other notes that you might uh, find. So if you see other, other observations you may make, you can fill those in. Um, now, we are gonna have to, you have to write your own because we are going to run this for 10 minutes, hence the stopwatch. Uh, so for that, make one of these tables of your own every 30 seconds for 10 minutes, set it all up, um, and you pretty much will just have to count the number of roly polies. So as we go through it, um, I'll let you know, say, okay, it's been 30 seconds. You can pause the video if you need to, to count the roly polies on each side. Uh, and then you can keep playing once you have them all, all your data recorded. Um, but before we do that, we need to go through the first couple steps of our scientific method, which is going to be writing our hypothesis and making a prediction. We're gonna use an if-then statement for this to kind of do it all in one. Uh, so before we go on, we're gonna write this if-then statement. I want you guys to write this down too. Uh, the first part, the if portion, is the hypothesis portion. We're all gonna use the same hypothesis because uh, that's gonna be the same for everyone using these bio choice chambers. So what that's gonna be is, if the isopods prefer one side over the other, comma, then now, this is where uh, the prediction comes in. So this is going to be uh, your own prediction. You're gonna make one here. You need to predict which side you think they are gonna prefer. So then, fill in your prediction. We also want you to put an explanation for this pre prediction. So if I suppose prefer one side over the other, then make your prediction because and here is where we need to fill in some prior knowledge about isopods, about roly polies. So think about as a kid, if you were playing outside, um, where might you have found roly polies? Think about what kind of environment they live in. Why might they live there? Uh, you may find some useful information in this portion in the background information part of the isopod lab. 
Uh, so to make sure you read that beforehand, before you make this prediction, um, before you fill out your explanation for why you are predicting either the dry side or the wet side. So again, pause the video now, go ahead, fill in your prediction. You can just write this on a piece of paper, write down your hypothesis and your prediction. Uh, when you get that done, you can restart the video and we are going to open the gates here and see what these roly polies do. Okay, uh, you should have now had time to write your hypothesis, fill in your prediction and your explanation, your reasoning as to why you are predicting either the dry side or the wet side. Uh, so now is the time to run the test, see what these isopods want to do. So I'm going to open the gates here. Uh, start the stopwatch and then we're gonna see what they do again I will let you know every 30 seconds when you can pause the video again and take your data record your data down again you're doing this on a separate sheet of paper because you need to record it for every 30 seconds it's gonna be a pretty big data table okay here we go we're gonna open the gates and start the stopwatch There's 30 seconds, so you can count them up. Again, if you need to pause the video, go ahead. If you need to rewind, that's the beauty of not having to do this in class. There's one minute. Might be kind of hard to see. There is one that's kind of hanging out on the edge right here. So far we have three left in the middle. I haven't moved. There's a minute and a half. Two minutes. Two and a half. Three minutes. Three minutes, 30 seconds.
four minutes. thirty. Five minutes, halfway done. Last one decided to move. There's 6 minutes Mix, miss 6.30. You guys can go back and see when the stopwatch was on the right time, though. There's seven minutes. One thing you guys may need to do, too, it looks like we have some of our isopods over here hanging out underneath the paper towel. Um, I can tell you so far, there are none on the dry side. So if you're having a hard time counting them, you can count which ones you see, but knowing that there's none over here, you can figure out where the rest are. There's seven minutes, 30 seconds. Eight minutes. Eight and a half. Nine. 
nine minutes. Nine and a half. One more reading after this. And there's 10. All right, so let's stop that real quick. Um, and let's check out where we left off. Take the lid off here. And carefully move these guys. Let's see. Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of them hanging out on the bottom of this. Those guys were there for most of the video. So, um, so we did end with all 10 being on the wet side. Now, uh, you guys will now need to go through uh, and do some analysis to your data. We're going to have you like uh, look at some averages, that kind of stuff, do some calculations, um, and see any trends that may or may not be there. Um, once you do this, then you will take your uh, take your data and go through and write a conclusion. We're going to have the requirements for the conclusion uh, posted on a separate document. Um, but it'll go through, you'll write a uh, few sentences, maybe a couple paragraphs, um, just explaining uh, what your hypothesis was, whether it was uh, supported, refuted, You'll throw your data in there to tell whether it was supported or refuted or if you couldn't draw any conclusions, um, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you will submit this conclusion for a grade. Um, all the online students, you'll, will, you will submit this on Google Classroom. Um, if there are any face-to-face -face students that are watching this, you'll have time to do this in class. Um, I think that about covers it. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, please just email uh, myself, Mr. Jolin, or Mr. Van Horn, and we'll help you out. All right, see you guys later.